Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI. Coming at you, finally, with Ethiopia. They weren't released, they weren't announced that long ago, but it's felt like forever since they were announced because we are so excited to play them. Holy cow, this is going to be fantastic. Ethiopia's in the house. Let's go. So, taking a quick look at what they do and how they do it, councils of ministries, uh, or sort of ministers, ministers, you receive culture and science equal to 15% of your faith generation in cities founded on hills. And units receive plus four combat strength on hills. So the combat strength is nice. Nice little defensive bonus, if anything, to be able to make people hit on your, on your plus four. Makes you really strong there. That's nice. But this city, this civilization generates a ton of faith. Naturally, which you're going to talk about down here. So this science and culture will not be insignificant. Um for this 15% bonus. So that's going to be really nice. Axumite Legacy. This is where the faith starts. Ethiopia's international trade routes grant 0.5 faith per resource at the origin. Improved resources provide plus one faith for each copy that it owns. So if it's two of the same resource, you still get faith on each. So ton of faith from your resources here. And then you're wondering, what can we do with some of that faith? Well, in addition to many other things that you can do, that everybody can do, you can also purchase archaeological museums and archaeologists with faith. So really, really synergized into a culture game here uh, a lot. Now, the Oromal Cavalry. Let's take a look there. The Ethiopian Unique Medieval Area Light Cavalry Unit, which is stronger and greater sight than the courser that it replaces. It also receives no movement penalty for moving on hills, which is really the only real great thing about this unit. It is stronger than the Corsair, but only by two, which means it's actually two weaker than the Knight. And the Knight is where I would put most of my effort into building towards when it comes to a military game, because the Heavy Cavalry promotion tree is better than the Light Cavalry, in my opinion, uh, leading to tanks and whatnot. Um, so I prefer to run the Oromo... Uh, I would prefer to run the Cavalry... Sorry the knight over the Ormo cavalry simply because it's weaker than its equivalent unit in the same era, uh, which is not good. But, I mean, you can't have a perfect sit, right? The Rakun Church is the final ability, and it's the ability to build the Rakun Church. It generates one faith as a base and then additional faith for every adjacent mountain and hill tile. So you could talk about plus six, plus seven hills, or sorry, plus six, seven faith, on these on these um, churches, which is an incredible amount of faith, particularly when it provides tourism after researching flight from the faith that it provides. So that's going to mean some really serious tourism if you build them in the right spots. And of course, it also adds plus one appeal, which is also nice, as it could correspond with um, helping out, for instance, with uh, some national parks later. Another way to spend your faith. And then you can only be built... So here's the thing. It only can be pillaged by natural disasters. It cannot be destroyed. And that's important because it can be built on volcanic soil in addition to being able to be built on hills. So it has to be built on hills or volcanic soil. So that's giving up a production tile to do it. So it's not perfect, but you're getting a lot in return. And the, the positive here also is that the natural disaster, that means if you build them on volcanic soil... The fact that you can repair them and not have to replace them and cost a builder charge is also very nice. And of course, they can't go next to one another because that'd be insane. So there it is. That's them in a nutshell. Let's start playing. And in particular, let's take a look at this start. Uh, if we made the perfect UNGM, wouldn't have anything to complain about. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Borderline. If, if we made them perfect, then we'd be like... This is the perfect sim. How are we going to give the people at Fire Axe a hard time? Like our, like our friend Carl here in chat. Thanks for being here, Carl. As always, that's exactly right. So, they're not perfect, but they're damn close. And I've said, I tweeted this out. Carl, you know I tweeted this out. And and I mean it sincerely. Fire Axis and the, everyone at Fire Axis who had a hand in putting this sim together and put, making them exactly the way they are right now deserve a round of applause. Because this is... It might be the best built, most synergetic 
Civ in the game. I can't say whether or not it's enjoyable to play because I haven't played them yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be very enjoyable. Anyway, old account got hacked. That feels bad, man. Hope you didn't lose anything too serious in that one. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Appreciate you being here. You're most welcome, Borderland. Okay, so here it is. This is the location of the map. Let me let me just tell you real quickly, okay? This is the second time I've tried to make a video for this Ethiopia. We were about 25-30 minutes into the last video when we realized that we had a pretty nice starting city and absolutely nothing around us. We had three city-states to our left taking up all the good spots. We had an ocean to the right, and then we got forward settled on the only two spots that we found that were going to be any good cities. The only two we got forward settled on about three turns before our settler was going to get there ourselves. So that was Rip Dreams, and it has been going on four hours of just absolute insanity trying to find a map. We don't know if this map's going to be great, but we know that's very interesting, so we're going to play it. And we had some discussions about where to settle. And it's an interesting discussion. So here's another question for Borderline. I believe Hendu actually asked the question a moment ago, and I should have asked it the second he got in here. Borderline, I hope you're still listening. Is geothermal fissures on a hill tiles, in particular this Plains Hill, is that new? Is that something that's been added in? Because I never noticed that I've ever seen a geothermal fissure on a hill before, like on that, like this. I, d I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I needed to play a little more than 3,000 hours to have been able to see one. But this seems like this is the first time I've seen it. I don't know. Anyway. We have some hills. Looks good. We're going to lose some tiles to mountains, definitely. This is a mountain range, as you can see here. It's the Air Marrow Mountains. So we're going to lose some hills there. But there's discussion to be had. So there's a plus three campus here if we don't settle the geothermal fissure. All right. If we do settle it, then we lose the effect of it. And then this will not become... This will not get the plus two bonus for a three total. But we are going to get a plus four, probably eventually plus three, because we'll lose the jungle eventually. A plus three campus here, which is nice and solid. So we don't mind that at all. It kind of replaces what we would get up here, essentially. So what, is that, what else does that mean? That's the big question. What else does that mean? We could settle it, get the science in the capital, and instantly get culture from a 2-2 tile here, and then faith at pop two. This, that feels really good. Are there other options? Yes, there are. Let's discuss them. We can move here to the culture. If we move to the culture here, then we would obviously get the culture in the capital. And it would still be a 2-2 with culture. But you'd be working a 1-2 science because this only has one food and we, and we would not get the food added for having settled the city on it. So that would be the negative. The other negative is we'd be moving away from the faith. Now, the other option is you could come and settle the, settle the faith and still get the science, but the culture would be outside of your first tile. And this is a really big advantage to have these there. Giving you one final option would be to settle here. The one reason I wouldn't settle here is because, first of all, it's a potential plus six faith to a rock yoon. And in addition, I don't like that you're moving towards a mountain range and losing even more tiles. I'd rather settle away from the top. I did check before I think uh, I even started the video. I was hoping that there'd be some sort of lake over here and we could come settle this tile. That would have been perfect. That would have been fantastic. I would, I'd have taken that. Uh, well, maybe not perfect, but I would have taken it for sure. At any rate, I like what we're seeing. And so we're going to settle in place and take the 2-2 with science. All right? Let's do it. Let's not waste any time. I'm not sure about Plains Hills, although I assume, yes, specifically the wiki entry for Geothermal Revisions is a picture of two on Grassland Hills in 2019, a few months ago after a dying storm. If we made them perfect. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, borderline, we were just asking if Geothermal Fissures on a hill, like on this, was if that's new. Because I've never seen it before. I've never seen it, a uh, geothermal fissure on a hill before. But it, sure enough, there's one sitting right there in front of us. Just like that. You don't recall? <laughs> Come on, Borderline, you're killing me, bro. 
So, uh, it's it's actually choosing to work the faith. We don't like that. Oh, we actually... So, we have... Um, good to know. We actually found some furs, which is nice. And that's a really nice tile as well. And that will take animal husbandry to get going. And we have the... The other reason why... This is the other reason why I don't want to settle either of those. The reason I don't want to settle those is also because once we, we get the plus one faith when we improve them. So, they become that much better of a tile to be working. Was the other reason why I didn't want to settle on top of those. So we get the 2-2 with the science right away. And we're going to lock in the culture. Because the culture is more important than the faith early on. Uh, not that the faith isn't important. Because it's going to work us towards a pantheon. But we'll get to the faith in a bit. We'll delay that for seven turns of until we grow to work the faith. Because at that point, we will be... Uh, We'll be still rocking the, all that culture. And then, of course, science right away as well is also fantastic. Because we're going to need to get irrigation, so the bonus science is going to be quick. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab animal husbandry first. Because I always say, research something that's going to be helpful if you find a, a builder in a goodie hut. And this is the first thing we'll be able to work if we ever got a builder. So, get it researched. And then we can move into granary. And then we can move into irrigation. Now, we do not have a farm to resource, so that's kind of annoying. But not impossible that we could get a settler onto a city um, in time to improve a farm on that city before we have to get that research done. So not too, too bad. Uh, that's the thing that some of these changes I, uh, I'll be testing over the months. Sometimes it's just normal for me. Or I'll get things wrong because I've seen things go through a dozen. Oh uh, yeah, that expose right. It, you yeah, that's a good point. You you don't know what we haven't seen sometimes because you see all these different stages of the builds of these different uh, things, and you, so you're not you're almost never playing the same game as us. So even though it might be new to us, you might have been playing it for six months or something. I can neither confirm nor deny your queries. Nice non-answer, bro. So, here we go. It is time. Let's go for a walk. Some Another 2-2 two -two tile here. So that is a total of four resources now that we've got going. Not too shabby at all. And next turn. Always try to step on hills whenever I get a chance. That's actually a volcano right there. Which means the potential campus there could be slightly in jeopardy. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we'll see what else is going on. There's potential for something else to happen here. Um, not impossible. We can come around here and find out that this is empty. Maybe there's not mountains here, and we could actually put it in behind and make a really good one back here, maybe. <clears throat> this isn't great. Stumbling across, stumbling across five empty or five flat tiles is not great, but it does open up the potential for a pretty solid second city right here, which would include working some faith there on a two-two. One. So that's a potential settle, settle right there. Um, also, that's a that's lake, so that's fresh water. So if there was a hill over here, we could even settle further in that direction if we wanted to leave a little space. Um, also, these three flat tiles, I mean, it's not much, but you could potentially do a little districting in here. Government Plaza with four districts uh, around it would not be terrible. Because we're not a lot of other options. You could also do the same thing potentially in this direction with these flat tiles opening up. We'll see what's going on down here. But that's also a possibility in, in other direction. We're going to want our scout to go this way to figure out what's going on down this river. <clears throat> I was having a lot of crash on desktop and hangups. The turn ends. Do we know if that at least... I don't know, Mihendi. That would definitely be a question for Borderline whether or not that's been settled. Uh, researching uh, tectonic plates and such. Might help with uh, help them avert. Oh, okay. There's a yeah. <laughs> huh. 
Gentle, guys. Gentle. Ooh. Okay, so there is a real nice first meet on a city-state. So, also gives us a nice opportunity to take a look at some changes to the city-states. So, instead of first meets equaling a plus two in the capital, it's now plus one capital. And that includes the gold, which used to be plus four. So, a pretty big nerf to the early yields from city-states, but it starts to come back later, and let me show you how. So, you get the plus one from, from in the capital, but you also get a plus one for the stage one building. So if it's if it was a cultural city state, you get plus one culture in the capital, and then plus one once you got your um, amphitheater. And then uh, once you got to your stage two, you get plus two in your museums. In this case, it's production towards uh, units when you have an armory. And then the stage three building gets plus three. So Again, this isn't as easily thought of as instead of like culture or science. So, amphitheater is an extra one, uh, museum is an extra two, and then the broadcast center is an extra three. Same thing, campus is an extra one instead of two, but at three. So, it's an extra one, but you get it here. Before, it was plus two, but you got it here. And then, of course, here, uh, it was plus two in the university or the museum. Now it's plus three, but it's not till the tier three building. So it's a little bit of a nerf to the early yields, but long term, it's a little bit more. And so at that point, you have to, it'll, it'll depend on how quickly you get to the tier three buildings to start making up for the fact that you got nerfed a little bit at the beginning. But a, definitely a very significant nerf early on because it nerfs the first meets, basically. Because you get you used to get a first meet on a culture of science, and that was a nice, really big boost. But when you think about it, it's a little bit more balanced now. Because if that had been a culture city state, I would have almost doubled my culture, and I'm already working a culture tile. I would have gone from two point four to four point four, and that includes that fact that I'm working a culture tile right now. I did lock that in, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Getting a fortunate first meet, doubling your yield of a particular like culture or science or whatever it was, is pretty insane. And so it, it kind of is a little bit more balanced, but it's just a nerf from what you're going to be used to. So there you go. Good to note. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stay close to home and walk across here. See what's going on with this lake and up this river here. I'll have the scout come this way. And maybe we can figure out what's going on on the back of these mountains with the scout. Something like that. Wow. Auckland beelined it to me. Auckland was like, I'm coming, baby! So, there you go. Another first meet. But, of course, it's also taking away rooms to settle <laughs> like the last time so hopefully there's going to be room around here that isn't taken up by that looks like mountain is it just me or does that look like it's going to be mountain i feel like it's going to be mountain um anyway i lost my train of thought it's uh it's going to be plus one production instead of plus two when you're building um wonders buildings or districts so when we get into districts building stuff like that That'll be some bonus production, but only one instead of two. They want a galley and a holy site. Well, doesn't that suck? Kabul's going to sit there. Well, I guess we don't really care if we get those to three or six, so it doesn't matter. And, th and then we're not going to get a galley anytime soon, but those don't really matter that, as much as if they were science or culture. Which we certainly wish they had been instead, but whatever. We're not going to be... We're not going to argue. So this lake... Does not have a... Well, it has one hill on it, I suppose. But it's uh, way the heck out here. But very interesting that it has yet another luxury and a good tile nonetheless. So, settling here is going to get insta-luxury. There is a maze here, but it'll be on the third ring of that settle. Um, We're locked in there. I was correct. We did find another continent, which is nice, but we have a whole 
boatload of mountains restricting our city. This is more than a little frustrating. More than a little frustrating to be losing that many tiles. Like, I mean, in the first, in the first two rings, we, we've lost like th uh, four, and now it looks like we've lost at least three more. Like that's depending on what's out here. Like this is that's ah. So two turns into the monument because we have to wait for growth in order to get the cellar going. So we'll do that. I mean, it's not a bad map, but it's not, it's not, I mean, this, the th these three tiles here are fantastic, not to mention the one we settled on, but after that, it's, it's actually is not very nice. <laughs> We're getting hemmed in by city-states. Goody hut. Um, potential settle there instead. We could settle this. And that so that's potential there you settle these two tiles instead and then you could settle potentially on the lake back here but yeah um, flattened out here flattened out there and the, the mountains it's Um, there are no dogs in heaven. There's animal husbandry. We'll get into pottery. Head into irrigation. Uh, might have to conquer one. Uh, you could. I, I I almost never build an army. So, particularly an offensive army. But I just don't feel like it's worth the time. But if it was, if they're amazing cities, I consider it. This one is on a hill. This actually is a pretty good city. This is on a hill as well. But pretty garbage city. So. I don't typically like to spend my time doing that. Potential that we could come around here and find a spot for a campus. Otherwise, campus under the volcano is looking pretty hype. Free envoy. We will not even come close to spending that right now. Um. Well, Pretty hilly around this lake. I feel like it's definitely uh, settle there and a settle here. And then you could go government plaza and get four districts around it from these cities. Like, say, your commercial hubs. Maybe that's the best campus these guys get. Which is, it would be a three, right? One, two, three. And then over here. <clears throat> Hard to say. Thought processes anyway. So we'll come up around this corner. We'll see what's going on back here. Uh, I think I just wasted a couple turns on the settler because I wasn't paying close enough attention. Best. It's been a rough day, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Not currently gaining faith because I didn't lock it in. Because once again, I made a mistake. Although the food is... One extra food and the gold is not bad. I'm going to turn this on because we get there faster. And I'm going to turn on the experience for now because we haven't met verbs. So that's going to get us going on faith. I think I am going to stick with the three, two, one, and then we'll grow into that. We'll we'll lose it as well, but we'll get back into it. We'll have that before too long. Is that government plaza going to be a horsey? No idea what we're talking about. Oh, good. And we're on the coast, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the coast. 
potential campus here maybe it doesn't look like there's a mountain there so potentially a campus here if you feel like buying out to it of course I always want to keep my warrior close to home so we're we're just gonna trim out this area here let this person come like this Get out of these goody huts. Goody huts. More resources out here. Potentially a coastal settle here with plenty of resources. One, two, three, four, five, six minimum. Likely more. Work our way through to here. So, very likely coastal settle, I would imagine. We'll hope for some fresh water here to put a city down in here. One, two, three, four, and then this mountain, of course, ended. Or this river ended into the mountains. If it wasn't for this mountain tile, there could have been a city right here. But no. We'll have to see what else happens here. Georgia Porgia, how you doing? You're excited to see what this has to offer i i'm excited as well george Borgia. by the way unless i know that you're typically running off to watch the vod from the beginning it's the first four hours well three and a half hours is pretty bad a lot of troll a lot of reroll a false start you may want to fast forward to about 40 45 minutes ago just saying Thanks for being here, though. I appreciate the lurk, as always. There we go. It is a minimum plus three back here. Potentially plus four. So that is a campus without the risk what, of explosions, which is always nice. There's also, actually, I just noticed this mountain here made this a plus three as well, but I didn't even think about that. It's also a rock. I guess they're both rock yoon potentially. Either one works. And this actually works into some adjacencies if we ever had a city back here. I just noticed that. Uh, I'm going to watch live because you're only 10 rounds into it, so I haven't missed much. No, you haven't missed much at all. Just getting going. Just, just wanted to make sure you didn't run off to the VOD and then suspect that there might be entertainment on the horizon and not get it. So, here we go. This is a interesting idea. And this campus would go there, likely, which means this campus could go there still. So lots of hype there. Another goody hut. Finding all the goody huts with the uh, with the warrior instead of the scout. That's always convenient. Down here, one, two. So we found no more. I think we were officially, although we don't know this tile yet, but we are officially one, two, three, four resources in the capital. Assuming no horse. Oh, no, we, there's no horses there because we've seen them already, right? Yeah. So there's no horses there. Potential iron there. But pretty much for the most part, really, really rough capital for resources. Really rough. This city here, however uh oh geothermal so plus four campus there for this city is very interesting one two three four five six if we don't count the geothermal fissure six resources in this city minimum <laughs> not too bad uh, Hippo Anonymous. 
Hippon Hippononopus, Hippononopus. I'm just gonna call you Hippo. <clears throat> Is Norm's audio slightly desynced? Oh, is it? Might be. It might be just very, very slightly desynced. Hopefully not too bad. Hippo's perfect. Hippo's what you're gonna get. So I hope so. I really wanna learn that tile. I want that tile. I want to know. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a mountain, right? Actually, you can, well, it could be a hit, but you could actually learn by going with the appeal. Here is three. We lose one here, so that has to be either a mountain or a tree, because one, two, three, four, and then this is takes us down to three. So other than if it was a tree, but it definitely looks like it's a mountain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's a mountain. I can't imagine it isn't. Unbelievably flat. So this city would be rock unit it pretty well here. Some rock un hype out here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um one, two, three. So a city would probably have to go here one two three that's far enough away there yeah so that's a city there picks up the rice and zakata do you get secret societies with the new frontier pass no you do not king in the north the secret societies are part of the new frontier pass update Part of the uh, the DLC that came out this week, the Ethiopia expansion pack. So you can buy those individually, as far as I know. So you can buy the pieces individually, but uh, yeah, you're going to be having to buy the secret, the pass. Tech tree. I'm going to start moving towards irrigation. Wow, that is some incredibly flat land we found out here. Take that goodie hut next turn. It's not on a hill, but this is probably a settle here, maybe. Unless there's a hill here. Wow. Did that barb come all the way around this mountain? What is this guy like? A freaking heat seeking missile or something? Boost to writing. Well, if we weren't going to find a sieve. We found the coast here, which is not fantastic. It means this is pretty much for free, most likely. But I knew this guy was going to step over here. I knew he was. There's zero percent chance he was not going to step over there. River comes down here. Free builder is Pog Champ. Uh, little fissure there is a plus three campus. Hopefully that river goes long enough to get another city down here. There is a hill there. Thank you. There we go. And 
You could go with the campus there for a plus three, or we'll see what else is going on with the mountains. That's the positive aspect of trade. We'll start moving towards craftsmanship. We are going to improve tiles here, but we have to wait seven turns before we can get those. So we'll probably come off craftsmanship. Some more resources. Uh, we can get a city right here. As long as it's not a mountain. That's a mountain right here. That's a plus four campus. Ethiopia Hypo. I don't know where this guy's bar pot could be. It, unless it's like way over here. Or maybe it was in here. No. Oh, wow. All right. So. Rock you in church. Too bad this is here. If this was there, you could have went commercial hub campus. Got a nice little plus three, plus three going. A little bit upsetting. Uh, nice resources, though. A lot of resources for faith, though. So you can't complain. Figure out what's going on down here. Uh, hey, Naj, how you doing? The one tile in Fog of War in the mountains is a barb camp. Oh, this here? Oh, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's a mountain. It's either a mountain or a tree. We already talked about that. It's either a mountain or a tree. But I'm pretty sure it's a mountain. Wow. That is poggers plus eight fertilized tiles. Oh my god. Look at all the food and production that just got popped on there. This city just got a whole lot better. That is insane. Eight plus eight yields. Uh, if you're talking about the, if, if this is what you're talking about, then it can't be. Um, we already evaluated this before you were here, obviously. It's got plus three uh, appeal. So charming. Plus three. And that means you're getting you're getting plus three here and minus one there. So that puts you at two. So this has to be a positive appeal. This 100% has to be a positive appeal to make this tile a plus three. So it's either a mountain or it's trees. It could be trees. It looks an awful lot like it's probably going to be a mountain. But it could be trees. And if it's trees and a barb camp on it, then you're right. Opening up pretty good down here as well. Although, I was, I was thinking this was a hill. I was going to say, that's a pretty good... We'll have to see, but we could do a couple. Are we on? I think we're on a continent split, right? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we have this continent, maybe, maybe to ourselves, because this looks like coast. So maybe this is like kind of to ourselves, and then, and then like we'll have a neighbor here somewhere. So we're we might want to settle this way as well, kind of quick. Nice little continent split though. So we're gonna go with the farm there and which city do we want to settle first um this has the potential farm which could get us irrigation so i could i could have this guy circle around and go farm for the boost 
So I think that's probably the settle. We could buy out to one of these two tiles. Probably this one. We buy out to that tile and farm it. I think is probably a good shot. And then we can come off irrigation. The barbs are disguised as a mountain. Please revive Spitfire. It could be over here too. We found him here and then he walked here and up there. We're going to see what hap what happens. Oh. I speak for the people of Australia as their Australia height. We seek sympathetic allies in the fight against the hawks of war. So, city here ASAP. And whatever we're going to do down here, potentially ASAP as well. This map does look like Australia, so there's no doubt... There's no doubt that Australia be on this map. Nice little goody hut here. Opening up some land, but... One more turn of irrigation, I think I'm going to come out of there. Bath. I'm going to jump into writing because I may find a way. I need mining to do it first anyway, but I may try to find a way to get a campus going early. <clears throat> Let's jump on... The Builder. We're sending this guy down here because we're probably going to try to get two resources... I'll probably buy to this and to this and get both of those going with this builder. And then this guy can do these two. Um, one thing we're going to want to stress a little bit more than we would with normal... Um, uh, sorry, with normal civilizations or other civilizations. Is getting resources improved quickly for the faith. As you can see here, we are working uh, this this here, improved resource. So if you come down here, plus one from resources. So you don't actually see the faith on the resource itself. It's just in the city itself. So not bad. Um, we're going to try to move through here and see what we have for an option for a settle here. We really would like to get it. It might have to be a coastal city. But we're gonna want to we're gonna want to figure that out and get these two cities settled ASAP. For sure, we have enough gold. Once we settle this, we have enough gold to buy the two tiles, which would be this one and this one. That's unfortunate. I was hoping I was just hoping we get double builder. That would have just been poggers. Okay, so we'll jump up on this hill. See what's going on. Potential settle down in here somewhere. Don't see any hills along this coast, which is unfortunate. Maybe there's something in here. Found that city. We are 19 turns. We're not getting a whole lot of luck. Potentially slow down on the 
the uh, era score and make sure we get into a dark. Yeah, Barb Camp. Looks like the Barb Camp was down here. Hopefully they come this way. And looks like it's either going to be a coastal city. Coastal city or a aqueduct city. One or the other. Probably coastal. All right. And then straight into the monument over here. Air time. Now we're working three faith. It would soon be four. We'll get to that Pantheon real quick like. He's going there. I'm not worried too much about him. This guy, I'm going to fortify. I do not have on, I don't believe. I have survey, which got us a promotion, which is good. So can't complain too much there. Step on that hill. There's a barb. We go to there. May have to go around. I'm not sure if that's a. If this guy's a barb camp down here. I'm pretty sure there must be a barb camp here, and that's where that skit was. The skit went down here, and then he turned around. Would have to be what I would think. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up there. That's the first episode of Ethiopia. And we're doing all right. I mean, we found lots of hills to settle on. Looks like we've got like a good seven cities or so. Now, some of them aren't the best, but we'll do what we can. Maybe we've got some space out here. Maybe we don't. We'll find out. And we'll just see where exactly Australia is. We'll try to get these two cities settled as quick as possible so we don't lose them. And that'll be next time. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.